Hi everyone, welcome to a very special interview. Here with me I have founder of Okamoto Kitchen, Gerald Abraham. Hi Gerald, how are you doing? Pretty good, how about yourself? Good, windy out here and we got caught up in traffic. Uh, let me go ahead and congratulate you on a successful Kickstarter campaign. So oh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, with that being said, uh, we're here to talk about your very special project, uh, your anime project. Can you tell us more about that? Um, yeah, absolutely. Well, we could tell you to a point. Uh, obviously, we don't want to give all of it away, but uh, we are in production right now. We just uh, started um, getting uh, first writers meeting, getting set up with like the dialogue, mapping out what uh, each section is going to be, and then after that, we're going to start pre-production and whatnot. But uh, yeah, yeah, so far so good. In terms of the story, it's going to give uh, people a pretty like a uh, hard realistic look about what the food truck industry is really about in a sort of tongue-in-cheek uh, entertaining way. <laughs> Adding to what you said, can you uh, explain to us the team, the production team behind the series? Sure. Well, the production team is a little bit uh, hobbled together in some parts. My background is visual effects, so uh, I've uh, worked at a lot, a lot of visual effects studios uh, in the last uh, 15 to 20 years. This uh, project, it was uh, sort of thrown together. Uh, episode zero, the production time on that one is about uh, two and a half months. Some of the colleagues we work with in Japan, some of the artists uh, we've asked to do um, basically some stills here, some stills there. Uh, in terms of production for uh, creating the story and the dialogue for, or the monologue for Haru, uh, that was done over here and when we had the uh, script done then we mapped out each one of the shots and then we talked to the artists involved uh, and we got pretty much those uh, those shots done. The final step was um, we uh, worked with a director from Studio Engi uh, to uh, create all the Haru sections and uh, the background was done uh, in CGI and then painted over in 2D and uh, Engi, Studio Engi was responsible for doing all the the shots of Haru on the truck. Wow, so, so there's a yeah. lot of hard work and dedication to this project. Absolutely, yeah. So with that being said, can you tell us more about the characters like Haru-chan here? So Haru, uh, she's obviously uh, our mascot. Uh, when we first started the business, the whole idea was to, uh, we wanted to make an Itasha food truck, the first Itasha food truck in Los Angeles. Food trucks uh, generally have uh, pretty vibrant, you know, uh, colors and style designs. And since we're specializing in Japanese food, it was sort of a no-brainer to have uh, an Itasha truck. And most Itashas, they have to have some sort of girl or some sort of mascot, obviously, on them. So uh, ours, our concept was no different but instead of using an existing character from some other anime it wouldn't really be um, it wouldn't really be representative of us so that's why we designed uh, Haru-chan I work with uh, Takuya who's uh, Haru-chan's designer we went over some ideas we need a maid character this should be the pose you know this is what she looks like and then Takuya pretty much did the rest and then we arrived on the first very very first uh, Haru-chan rendering which is right behind you is the original and then after that it just uh, spun off with uh, different pieces of artwork and uh, then more characters uh, Honey, obviously her dog uh, then Chef Chizuru then uh, all the characters you see in the anime right now well not in the anime but uh, previewed in the, in the Kickstarter Can you tell us more about the other character teams? Like we have the uh, the Mexican Cuisine and sure. uh, the the Yankee Boys Can you tell us more about this? Sure, well uh, each, each team has their own respective style and there were influences taken from uh, real food trucks in real life a lot of this uh, story is based on real life experiences we've had in the past uh, three and a half or four years in this business uh, some of it good some of it not good at all and um, you know dealing with uh, some of these people uh, whether it's been a good uh, situation or bad some characters are completely fictional some characters are based on people we've known and had run-ins with uh, so you know without going too far we don't want to give anything away but uh, yeah I mean every truck has like their own personality and their own style their own, and own gimmick, to them. their own gimmick and like how they can make you know how they can make a living right uh, and, and now I have to ask you uh, uh, from I noticed that there's a, a resemblance between uh, Danny Trejo and one of the characters in the Mexican cuisine Ajavi as is he gonna be voiced by Danny Trejo we would you know we've actually uh, spoken with Danny Trejo's uh, agent and um, they wanted us to see a little bit further along when we created the Javi character we definitely thought like wow would, wouldn't it be cool if the this, this character, you know, if Danny Trejo voices his character, personality-wise and um, you know style-wise, um, I think he might be like a really good fit. So um, yeah, he is, I mean, he is. Yeah. I mean, he resembles a character. <laughs> and not just that. I mean, uh, nobody really has seen like his personality yet or his like dialogue and action. But his, uh, <laughs> I think it would be really, really fitting for like what we have planned for that character. So is this going to be a full-blown animated series? Is it going to have more than one season? 
So um, originally, we actually wrote a treatment for 12 25-minute episodes. And that's what we have. We have a treatment for that. The What we're creating, what we uh, raised funds for and Kickstarter is what well, we are very clear about it it is going to be 10 three minute three to five minute episodes so um, essentially what we're planning to do is take the pilot the treatment of the the first episode and then break that up into the um, into the episodes into like the, the short uh, three minute episodes but you know obviously with a limited budget I mean we raised more than 48,000 but even still that was for small short web comics to create a full-length anime like a, roughly like a 20 to 25 minute anime it would cost roughly I think a production budget minus pre-pro is probably around like 400 to 450 thousand dollars we obviously don't have that money we're very small we're grinding up to there eventually uh, hopefully I think we'll get that chance but oh, yes, uh, right definitely. now um, our plan is to take that pilot and basically the story that happens throughout that pilot we're gonna write individually for each one of those 10 episodes so we can hit all the story beats and make it fun and coherent hopefully we get a uh, a few more people interested in what we're doing I mean definitely episode zero and the Kickstarter project itself got a lot of people um, interested enough to see more want to see more and uh, then they donated thank you very much everybody by the way um, and you know going from there we obviously want to make more and more and more content we have a lot we actually have way more that like I said I mean we have like the basically maybe about like a 12 uh, 25 minute episodes worth of like content but we're already planning like a season two so, uh, you know, this is, I mean... A season two confirmed? A se well, we're not that far yet. <laughs> we still have to work on episode one, which is the pilot, which is going to be cut up into the 10 individual episodes. So, um, I think based on that, people are going to get a good feel for, you know, some of the characters and, like, you know, basically... Uh, along the lines of what what story we're trying to tell and if at that point people find it interesting they want to see more hopefully we'll get the chance so I have to ask I know I know you went into a little bit of detail how, what uh, how you began this project but I have to ask in as a whole the food truck in, in itself what was your inspiration to create the actual food truck and 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 the character and now the anime series sure well um, I've been into anime since I was five years old so I'm gonna be 45 this year so 1980 been watching anime religiously since 1980 uh, Obviously, I'm uh, you know a little bit biased towards the older stuff, but I still love like the newer series. Uh, I try to keep up as much as I can. Uh, so I mean, when my wife and I, my wife she's a dude, she's the chef. Um, and uh, we basically, before we started Okamoto Kitchen, we were looking to potentially start a restaurant, maybe, you know, a smaller restaurant, whatever. But uh, really, it's not cost effective for us. I mean, we're not, we don't have any uh, investors or, or whatever. I mean, it would be very, very, it's a very expensive endeavor. And it's also really, really risky. Uh, in, for a lot of restaurants, the hardest part is the first couple of years at first because you have to build up your client base. And I mean, if you don't blow up, if some magazine doesn't say this is the greatest place I've ever eaten, it's a very, very like real struggle, which you might end up actually losing all your money. So um, after you know making a couple calculated uh, decisions, and uh, we were actually influenced by a friend who said, "Hey, why don't you look at food trucks? Maybe you could do that." And we actually looked into it, and then we saw what everybody was doing and the type of cuisine they were having, and then that's basically where the idea came up. At that point, it's like, "Oh, well, we could we could probably do this," and you know, but we're going to do it our style, and we're going to make it fun and poppy and uh, you know just that's where the idea came up Itasha food truck we need a mascot and then just started uh, rolling from there uh, in terms of the anime uh, the anime I mean like really around that point where we started like ideas for the brand uh, it was already like you know being planned out in the sense of it's not really creating a food truck just to have a food truck but ultimately maybe hopefully one day have a brand that we can have like different facets of so the food is obviously one facet but having like a show or having merchandise or having characters that people like or want to find out more about it was always in the books because that's that's sort of like how I like doing things and the people that work with us um, in the production side they have um, similar ideas so uh, yeah that's pretty much it and you know we're just uh, trying our best with the resources we have and you know whoever gives us a chance obviously we're uh, thankful and we're thankful for uh, very very thankful for the fans and people that have uh, supported this thus far.
be your chef is actually she's not um, she's actually like R&Ding for some projects so we've got like uh, a few collaborations in the works okay. and um, so there are some new dishes that are collaboration specific that she's been working on and most of the time she's uh, these days in charge of the, the prep also uh, again you know like if we've got like any special caterings or collaborations or, or whatever that's normally what she's working on she's rarely on the day-to-day -day shifts anymore but like for example we're gonna be at the Cherry Blossom Festival this weekend in Huntington Beach so she'll be on for all three days for that uh, we are on uh, Annie Fest, uh, maybe. I'm not sure if she's going to be there, maybe. Uh, because we do have two trucks, so the, uh, if she's not on this one, she's on the other one. But it also depends on the day and then the event. So speaking more about the chef, tell us about the food. Uh, famous dish to this date is the katsu curry sandwich. So the curry that we serve is called ofu style curry. And if you're familiar with Japanese style curry, uh, Japanese curry actually came, it did not come from India. It came out, is inspired by Europe and came from the British Navy through the spice trade, sailed to India and then started using their Indian spices, the curry spices, and infused that with their beef stews. That's ultimately how uh, Japanese style curry was born. And uh, ofu is basically like a Western style curry so or European actually I'm sorry European style curry and uh, that's basically how it started and that is the style of curry that we specialize in in Tokyo and Japan these days there really aren't that many places that serve ofu style curry because it is a lot of work to make uh, the veal stock alone is about 40 hours and it's uh, from beginning to end it's about a three-day process to make the curry so it's got a lot of depth a very very rich flavor and uh, that's one of the things we spend a lot of time doing we take that curry we have a curry rice plate uh, but there are, we understand that also for the general public a lot of people aren't used to just like curry and rice um, so we kind of made almost like a, a gateway drug version which is like the katsu curry sandwich so they could get a uh, chicken sandwich with curry on top of it and then if they like the flavor profile if they like the flavor of the curry maybe next time they'll graduate to uh, some of the other dishes like the uh, okamoto curry or, or whatnot so that's one of the dishes uh, japan fried chicken uh, we call jfc it's essentially karaage and we don't call it karaage because people that aren't familiar with japanese culture or uh, anime might not know how to pronounce it properly and if they see something they can't pronounce there's a very good chance they're not going to order it because they're scared and yeah, that's they, one of the things that's one of the things we make it a point to uh, have either a translation or maybe just a rename it in English rather than we don't even put karage on the label for uh, JFC it's just called JFC Japan fried chicken and uh, when we do Japanese events sometimes uh, we will change the menu to completely Japanese text and when we do that it does say karage appealing to the anime community absolutely, of course absolutely absolutely <laughs> well unfortunately you guys we've run out of time thank you so much again for accepting us for this interview and you guys I'll see you guys next time